I love this case because it's the most logical of all the cases we've had. This is a, a heart that has been bread loafed, cut uh, at 90 degrees to the axis between the apex and the base. And it's so wonderful to be able to diagnose uh, wall hypertrophy because we have tables of normal thicknesses. And the normal thickness of a left ventricle should only be about one and a half centimeters. And the normal thickness of a right ventricle should only be about one third that, or let's say uh, 0 0.4 to 0 0.5 centimeters. Of course, it depends on how you measure it, and you have to be fair, measure it in areas where you're not giving it a false thickness due to a papillary muscle. Uh, I wish there was a ruler laying down here because a ruler is all that you need to diagnose uh, hypertrophy of a wall. And that is because you just lay the ruler down. And if it's more than one and a half centimeters in the ventricle, it's hypertrophied. And generally, the thickness of the wall, the ventricle, or the right ventricle, or even the atria, for example, is um, directly proportional to, to how much pressure is in it. So thick walled ventricles have higher pressures than normal walled ventricles. In addition, if the lumen of the ventricle is wider than it should be, it looks like it's considerably wider, realizing this is a heart that is at autopsy and it's not in systole or diastole. Then you could diagnose ventricular uh, dilatation as well. There's a dilated right ventricle, there's a dilated left. That may be hypertrophied as well, depending on how it measures up to our centimeter ruler. That's definitely thickened, and that's really, really thickened. This is a hypertrophic left ventricle, the most overwhelmingly most common cause of which is hypertension. Hypertension due to any cause. I love this case because it's like the muscles of your arm. The more work it has to do, the thicker it gets. In this case, the higher the blood pressure is. Systemic would be the thicker the left ventricle is, but that's really true for any chambers, isn't it? Another way to diagnose left ventricle uh, or cardiac hypertrophy, which is predominantly often left ventricular because that's where most of the muscle is, is to weigh the heart. And believe it or not, the normal heart, after you take all the blood out, should only be in an adult about 250 to 300 grams. So if it's four, five, six, you know that it's, uh, it's probably that way because of the increase in muscle mass. Let's quit talking about the gross specimen and now go to something that is equally beautiful. And that is the microscopic specimen. Let's look at a section through this hypertrophied ventricle uh, with the microscope, uh, and I hope we can get it soon. Oh, yes, we can. This is cardiac muscle. Notice it's not infiltrated by neutrophils. There seem to be no real zonal areas of scarring or organization. This heart is not infarcted. However, if you did actually look, and we are now at the regular old 20x power, these fibers are thicker than they should be. And that's the principle of hypertrophy, isn't it? Increase in size of an organ due to increase of the thickness of the individual cells or fibers and not a hyperplasia or increased number of cells. In addition, I wanna show you something here that's beautiful is because usually the nuclei within hypertrophic cardiac muscle kind of square off, or what they call the boxcar kind of nucleus. And that's so common. Whenever you see a thickness in the fiber, uh, you can often see a boxing off of the nucleus as well. Um, notice, I think you could see some striations, perhaps, along here and along here. And you know this is classical cardiac muscle the nuclei are in the center of the fiber. And here's the last thing I want to show you. See this little pigment here? And maybe there's a little bit of it here. And uh, generally, it's kind of around the nucleus. So let's take another peek somewhere. Let's go to another part of the heart here and hope it will focus for us. Yes, it will. Some more thick fibers, some more squaring off of the nucleus. 
And this is an artifact. You know, that's just a piece of junk, isn't it? Uh, do you see some more of that little pigment? Yes, we do. I think I could theorize there's a little bit of here. Well, if you've been led to believe that every golden brown pigment in the body has to be either hemocyte or melanin or bile, just remember there's one more thing that occurs often in aging and often in heart. It's what the pigment called bofuxin. There's a little bit over there, too. That's very, very normal. Most people are elderly, have a little bit of accumulation of that pigment. And look how beautifully boxed off that nucleus is. Isn't that great? Uh, myocardial hypertrophy. Thank you very much. Thank mm -hmm. you.